Tunic. Gonna hand it off to Etheridge. So he will be dropped after a gain of four. Mm -hmm. Second down and six. The Hilltoppers take their final timeout. Maybe a fumble, a scoop, and score. We've, oh, seen, nice. we've seen West Virginia State struggle with handoffs before, miscommunications, and just fumbles. We'll see, hopefully, if something could happen here. Kinnick, again, hands it off to Etheridge. Are you just going to run it up the middle for a gain of two? It'll end up being third and five, but the clock is rolling, and that's what they're more concerned about. If I'm West Virginia State, I take as much time as I possibly can, and I snap this ball with one second left on the clay clock. Yep, why not? As of now, there are 20 seconds remaining. 120 to go. Game. 15 on the clay clock. Down to six seconds. Clock and a snap at Ed to the right side. He gets the first down and down inside the five. The play clock will stop, or the clock will stop as they reset the down marker. They do one minute left in this game. And after it's pretty much just sealed the deal on this Yellow Jacket victory today here at West Family Stadium. West Virginia State will line up in a victory formation. They're just going to kneel the ball here. They're not going to try to go for a touchdown. They're going to try to take as much time off the clock. And this game is over. There is 35 seconds remaining, but all they have to do is snap it one more time, kneel it down, and that's it. This will be the last play of the game. Matt Kick and his West Virginia State Yellow Jacket squad well, and their season finale with a victory here in the West Liberty. Last season, the Hilltoppers were able to do the same to them down at Institute, West Virginia. And the Hilltoppers end their season at 4 and 7. Started off the year at 0 and 3 with tough losses to Concord. In week one, where it seemed like towards the end of the game, the only opponent the Hilltoppers had after a rough start was the clock and just could not score enough points by the time the clock had run out down in Concord. Then they go to McKendree, Illinois, lose in two overtimes. We've got Sarah, we've got Sarah Adamowski down on the field with Coach Roger Wiley. Sarah.